It's a surreal experience to go from a dream to reality. And it's been two months of living aboard this vessel and my brain still can't seem to string together all that has ensued to get here. And today marks what feels like another big milestone. We're setting sail for our first offshore passage. That's gotta be a good sign, right? And while we've technically already logged some 700 plus nautical miles, that was our sea trial and passage out of China, which included a full crew of sailors. And this journey through the Philippines will be just the two of us. We are headed to Palawan, but we are gonna make a little stop in the middle and apparently a beautiful little tiny reef in the middle of nowhere. Quite excited. I may not seem like it, but it's a little bit early. <laughs> Wait until after the greens and the coffee have picked it in. nothing okay you hear, you hear the propellers in the water but other than that it is a beautiful thing to be able to leave an anchorage and do it under electric it's so much quieter it's so much more calm and then on top of that when you got the headsets on it's like you're just talking to each other in normal regular voice nobody's having to yell so just the whole vibe of everything just comes right down and everything is so relaxed I dig it. It's good. Even whenever like the wind's crazy and there's a problem or something else, you're still just talking in normal voice and you're not needing to yell at each other. It still just makes such a difference. Headsets and electric motors should be on every boat. <laughs> okay, I think we're ready for the main up. I'm gonna turn around. Sailor's breakfast, half eaten, barely had a sip of coffee. We've already done like three sail changes. <laughs> We're like, sail tacking, stay sail. Go, let's put out the solid. Oh, that's too much wind. Let's put out the stay sail again. Oh my gosh. And then in the process, you can't tell, I don't look wet, but <laughs> I went up on the high side and I literally stepped forward right as the wave came up. So I'm like, baby, we haven't even been out here an hour and I'm pretty so. <laughs> oh, but it's good. It's all good. We're having fun. Can't get our breakfast eaten because we keep thinking with everything. But that's, yeah. Feels good. Feels good. Oh, we're doing between eight and nine knots. Flipping right along. Should be a good day. Ooh. And the most important part is we're putting a lot of power back into our batteries. Pumping in about, you know, 13 amps per shaft right now. So, we're gonna have full batteries when we get there. It's getting good. Love it. Now, this is why sailing around here requires eagle eyes and why we will not be sailing at night. So you saw another one? Yeah, it's good ahead, but that one has a flag. They're all over the place. When they don't have a flag, they're impossible to see with all the white caps. I was like, that close. Like, some sort of fishing marker. Maybe there's a big cage on the ground. Maybe it's just a long line. I'm not really sure. Finally getting to finish breakfast here. It's been crazy, like hour and a half nonstop. When I was filming earlier, it went from like 15 knots all the way up to 30 knots. So we quickly scrambled to put a reef in the main. And guys, we're not doing a great job of showing you the process we're not doing a great job of filming the sails going out and all that kind of stuff but we're just getting used to this boat and we feel like it's too hard to try and capture it and do it and think about all the steps and be safe so i'm you're sorry something in between. yeah you're just kind of getting a little bit of everything <laughs> just this chaos it's not quite chaotic on the boat for us but it would be if we had a camera in our hand trying to do it as well so anyway Last bite of breakfast, huh? Two hours later. Cold oatmeal, yummy!
just made our umpteenth sale change for the day. Take them out, put them away, use this sale, no use this sale, which of course still has just been our two head sales. The one thing I wanted to do today was get out either the spinnaker or the reacher. We need more practice with those sales. But the wind has been all over the map. We go from like nine knots of wind, which I have one of our electric motors on now, like so now our motor sailing, and we need to make at least five knots of speed, or we are not gonna make it to our destination before the sun goes down and it's all coral, so gotta navigate that during daylight hours. 15 minutes from now, it'll be at 20. Then it goes to 25, then it goes to 30. So you're like, oh, okay, now I need to change again because now you either gotta take a reef or you gotta change your head cell. It has just been the weirdest day. But good, right? Just because it has been so active, there has never been a dull moment. And you have to like actively be watching and at the at the wheel, ready to make an adjustment for when that wind shifts or when it dies. What a day. It's definitely been a more exciting day than I expected but it's been good to put the boat through the paces because now I feel like, you know, we were pounding into waves, 30 knots of wind. We were just crashing everything. It was just, I don't know. It, it was more beating than we expected, more upway than we expected for sure. And the boat handles really well. Like it really punches through the waves. When it hits one hard, it doesn't stop and like wait and stall and then hobby horse for five minutes while it finally picks back speed. It's just like it hits the one and then boom pushes right through. So that's pretty, uh, pretty exciting. And then upwind, it wasn't as rough as I thought it was going to be. Uh, granted, we're like 20 or 30 miles from land. So, you know, we're not like out in the open ocean, but I was surprised I didn't get seasick funny at all. And I think it also helps that the boat doesn't feel violent when it's pounding and the, the noises are not too loud. The boat's pretty quiet. I think overall, it's a hell of a day. I mean, I'm ready to jump in and then <laughs> have a sundowner, but uh, great day. <laughs> Does that sound convincing? It was a great day. It was a very great day. Okay, we're almost it's, there. It's not over yet. Yeah, I know. We got another hour or so. Anything could happen. That's right. <laughs> and just like she said, we're back. 18, 19, 20 knots. Oh my gosh. It's been 10 minutes. <laughs> this is the dream. Calm seas, eight knots of speed, regen in at 10 amps per shaft. That's it, baby. That's like, that's the sweet spot. Oh, I love it. I love it. So much. Great shot set up. We're gonna put the action camera and just get the perfect shot of the sails going away and us getting to the anchorage. No, 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 we got 33 knots of wind. We had to drop everything as fast as possible, motor in and drop the hook. <laughs> just a perfect end to this day. <laughs> oh my God. choppy but I don't see any waves that are like towering. 
we're about to go through this pass here, which is kind of shallow at 10 meters. And the wind is coming from this direction here. So we're not quite sure how bad it's gonna be. So we're proceeding with caution. First thing in the morning, we had 30 knots of wind right there at our anchorage. And then we're being blocked right now, but it just funnels through here. And now we've got a pass and a pass. And I don't know what we're in for. The excitement. Yeah, um, could, could be the wrong kind of excitement. Yeah. There's the wind line right there. My heart is pumping. Whew. Okay, we can always turn around. Okay, here we go. You know that sign on sidecar mirrors? Objects in mirror are closer than they appear? Well, waves never look as big on camera, but the boat movement is revealing. And these are not the biggest waves we've ever seen, but they aren't like ocean waves. They are stacked close together and steep, like really poorly placed speed bumps. <laughs> we made it through that one. And we got one more. made it through both passes with no real trauma. I can't help but be nervous because still new boat. We're getting comfortable with everything and how she handles and you never know what you're gonna get in those things. It could be so gnarly. I mean we have definitely had some pretty wild past experiences so I'm glad that that was trauma free but I feel like also the emotions that my body goes through like people are cold plunging and saunas and you know shocking your system and doing all these things right to try to keep yourself young and i just feel like none of that is needed when sailing yeah. like definitely got my system going i am sure it was some sort of fight or flight moment <laughs> you know Dorf sort of high. yeah exactly so no cold plunges needed here or anything else. We have all of the things going on all the time. I'm sure it's simultaneously giving me gray hair and keeping me younger all at the same time. Okay, continue on. Get some sales out. Yeah. Philippines to sail through because or sail by because the wind just howls through there all the time 25 35 knots and you get these big waves right on the beam it's quite exciting and it's a little bit fun I'm not gonna lie because <laughs> I feel good I guess god if I didn't feel good it would not be fun <laughs> oh, oh yeah we are rock and roll and taking them right on the beam 
interesting to see what the boat does. And she's performed well. And again, another day, you just see how solid she is, how quiet things are. It's good. Very good. Building your confidence. I'm very happy with this boat so far. <sighs> Look at that. Ooh, 35 knots. Yeah, I take back what I said. Ready for a little less excitement? Yes. the head, it's the head, it's causing a lot more wind. We're almost done. Now we've got 15 knots of wind. And it's so calm. The waves have calmed down. And you look behind me, you can still see all the white caps, but it's, we've crossed the line. There's an invisible line and we have crossed it. And now everything is fine. The drama is over and now we need more sail because we're going too slow. <laughs> Talk about the wind falling off. Five knots of true wind. We lost it all, so we had to furl in the staysail. And we've kicked on one engine, and we have the other engine on electric drive. And what's cool about that is we've kind of matched them up here and the amperage going in from our generate side for the engine side. And then we have the electric side pulling about the same amount as the motor's putting in. So then the solar is also bringing in power and all together we're putting in about 900 watts into the battery bank so we've extended our diesel motoring range by double we're hoping we're hoping that we're getting a little more wind when we come around the corner so then we can put maybe a, a lighter wind sail out download brick wind see what we uh, what we got coming up the pipeline doesn't look like much but you never know sailing very close to the wind. We've got eight to nine knots. Now we're doing about five knots of speed. So there's our true wind speed there. Five knots. And that's exactly why you can't sail at night. There's stuff like that all over the place. Must be some fishing something like who knows but can you imagine hitting that and 10 knots of speed and 20 knots of wind with big waves. Oi! Gives me the creeps. Okay, we've got the Reacher all rigged up. It'll be the first time we've flown it by ourselves. 15 knots of true wind. Should be a good angle. It's like 120 degrees. Woo My heart's pumping again. I've said it like three times. This is just crazy. Today's just been a heart pumping kind of day. Hope it's done right. Okay, ready to go up? Figure it out pretty quick. Yeah, let's go up. Every time you smile, you know, take me away. There's something I can say. Well, hey, I'd say it right here. Every time I leave, I think, I think of your face. Baby, I know. I hit record on the uh, Reacher getting put away, and sure enough, SD card filled up. 128 gigs. I don't know what we built. Oh my god. It's <laughs> gonna be so much editing. 236 gigs. <laughs> if that fills up, I'm gonna jump off this boat. <laughs> okay, let's put the stay sail away, the main sail away, get anchored, so I can start editing the video. Another successful day of sailing and another anchorage. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah. Oh, feel the breeze. So nice. What this could be. I want you to stay. 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 Honey, I want you to stay. I want you to stay. Honey. Yeah.
just beautiful. There's supposed to be exposed land right there. <laughs> That's scary. Hope the charts are right. We are almost to our first legit stop, the one where we're actually gonna get off of this boat when we get there, <laughs> which is Oppo Reef. This is what we have been sort of waiting on as far as our island hopping goes because it's supposed to be stunning and beautiful and clear water and coral and fish and all that sort of stuff. We're going to stop here, I don't know, maybe for half a day, maybe for a whole day. I think it's weather dependent. Well, it's definitely weather dependent. You're very exposed out here. And then we will continue on our journey. We got up early this morning to set off, but we knew it was just gonna be motoring. It's fairly boring. We didn't really feel much of it. We gave the deck a quick rinse, and then we've mostly just been hanging out and cleaning, trying to catch up so that we can play when we get to the reef. There's no anchoring here, so we are gonna catch a mooring bull. Get the mooring lines ready, get you. Oh, I'll show you my boat hook. It's very cool. <laughs> and, uh, okay. We're almost there. Yeah. Flexible carbon fiber pole. Pretty neat, huh? Is it really carbon fiber? I think so, yeah. How's that possible? Technology. We got one diesel engine and one electric motor going. And we got the stay cell out for a little assist. motors on both sides because we're getting closer to our anchorage and it just keeps everything a little bit quieter when we're picking up that mooring ball and everything else because again the louder everything is the more intense everything feels the quieter it is the calmer it feels You okay? Good. Let's see the finger. Ugh. I'm gonna lose that nail. Ugh. Okay. Woo! <laughs> Woo! Yeah! <laughs> we were against the wind, but the current must be drifting back that way. So we came forward over the mooring ball before we got to the line to bring up. And I pulled it up and then I was worried that, stupid, I was worried that it was gonna rip my boat hook out of my hand. So I grabbed it cause I was gonna put a line through, but we were moving so fast forward that it just ripped out of my finger. And that's that. Oh, yeah. That's how you get yummy. Ooh, I feel that alcohol now. Ho ho ho, yeah. <laughs> but we have super pure water here, UV filtered like 99.9% .9%, so I flushed it quite a bit, used some alcohol, flush it again, use some alcohol and then put some stuff on it. Yeah. Shark bait! <laughs> the electric engines are so powerful that when I went to go forward it's so much thrust that I went a little faster than I expected, which is also why we kind of zoomed it. Not, I mean, we weren't like flying over it, but it's fast when you're trying to pick up a mooring ball, that's for sure. So that was uh, 
mostly me, but I like how Jason was like, oh, you know, I, I shouldn't, which he shouldn't have held onto it. That is no bueno, but I shouldn't have been going so fast. So, you know, you live and you learn and you get really good injuries while you're at it. So, you know, anyway, but we're somewhere really beautiful. Check it out. Oh, wow. Are they pilot whales? They're making a loop. They're scrounging up some food. Yeah, right? Maybe. Yeah, they must be eating, right? Yeah. Something. What a day. My heart is full of butterflies. There's no disguise in how I feel. Whenever I'm with you I've waited till the moment's right To look into those starry eyes And say the words that I'm thinking all the time current than we expected on that. At first we jumped in and we were like, oh, we'll just go right here from the boat. And we got in and we were like, okay. If we get too far away and you get really exhausted, all of a sudden you're like distracted by all the fish. You look up and the boat is a mile away and you're thinking, I don't know if I've got the energy to make it back. I'm sure we would have, but better safe to, to have the dinghy with us. But all of this is sort of like a marine preserve, so there's no anchoring here, which is why they've got the mooring balls. And it's the, there's three of them. It's first come, first serve. So if you get one, you get one, you don't. Too bad, another day, I suppose. Now there is one anchorage. There is another atoll right here. You wouldn't know it, but it is right there. But it's deep. And it's like, you could just spend a week here diving your little brains out but it's very weather dependent yeah you're just super exposed out here and it's great right now but if the weather were to shift you'd want out of here real fast it kind of reminds me of palmerston just a little bit which is part of the cook islands because again where it's like 500 miles from absolutely anything just out in the middle of the ocean this one tiny little island and reef and that's it and they're just out there and there's a couple of mooring balls and if the wind is right cool you can stay if it's not you better go because otherwise too many boats end up on the reef out there and i'm sure it would be a similar situation right here so sort of a little taste of what's to come. This is our first clear water, our first really great coral and fish life. And we're headed to just a whole lot more of this is what we've been told. So I'm very excited. We're gonna head out of here, I think first thing in the morning because we've got a full day sail. And again, the whole don't arrive at night. Pearl farms are apparently quite prolific. Prolif shoot. Prolific. Prolific, thank you. Oh, prolific inside the area which is Buswanga. So that's tomorrow and this is today.